Okay, y'all, it is 7 18 2019. I have an envelope I just got today in the mail. And oh, we're going to have to send it back because they addressed it with the all caps. Yeah. But I just noticed something and I wanted to have y'all corrected. Uh, on the magazine mailing and if you can't correct it then I want to stop the or cancel any further magazines coming under the name that you're sending it under uh, which is in all caps that is not me y'all have a zip code on here too and that is not me you also have KY on there and I am not within a 20 mile radius of Washington, D.C. So, I'm requesting that y'all put it in the normal way that it is written. Carol, capital C, lowercase a-r-o-l, capital R, lowercase o-b-e-r-t-s, and then the address, care of, written out, not c-o, not C forward slash O. Then the address of 3203 Ridgewood Street, Owensboro, Kentucky. No address. I mean, no zip code. I don't claim to be under military rule. That's what zips are for. And it'll get here. I'll get my other mail this way. And put non-domestic underneath of that. Any other way, I won't accept it. It'll come back. So is the address, and so is the city, and then the states of KY. That represents Washington, D.C., at the 20-mile radius of it. That's for the United States. The United States is a corporation. That is not a real entity. It's a corporation. Okay, and then you wanted the state to read Kentucky. You want it to be spelled out? Yes. Okay, and then the zip code, you want it to be 42301? No, no. None at all. No, none at all. Or if you put it in brackets, not parentheses, but brackets, you know what a bracket is, right? Yeah. Okay. If you put it in brackets and then underneath of Owensboro, Kentucky, you put non-domestic, that would be okay in that manner. But if not, then I, I can't accept anymore. All right. So do you want, you want it to show, actually show non-domestic? Yes. Yes. And you want that right under the address of thir uh, yeah of the Owensboro, Kentucky part. Okay. Yes. Well, I will see what I can do here. Do you mind if I just put you on? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Trying to clean things up, folks. This is actually printed on the magazine. Check it out. It's not a pull tab, you know, sticky tab stuck on here. This is run through a machine. You know, that isn't right. That's what I view as coercion, collusion, and, uh, you know, to automatically draw you in to what uh, the criminal cabal's doing to the people. Wake up, folks. Wake up. I'm, I'm stopping all mail that's coming to my address. It's in the all caps. If it's not, uh, if it doesn't have the f four uh, things on the label, such as my name, my address, uh, the city, state, and non-domestic, I'm not going to be accepting any more mail like this. So. Do you still want it to read in the United States? No, 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 no. No, non-domestic. 
Yeah, non-domestic. I, I don't want anything to do with the United States. Because that's, that's uh, fraud, you know? That's perpetrating fraud. And it's sucking you people in. Oh, yeah, this one has a zip code on it. You bet you it does. It's got the long one and uh, the 0227 after it. But it's not in brackets, and, and the zip code shouldn't have the 0227. That's just more of their um, deceit, you see. And um, But, no, I, I don't care for any of it to be on there. No zip code, but if y'all have to put one on there due to your whatever I don't know what it'd be but it's got to be in brackets not not without the brackets you know it has to have okay. the brackets around the zip code if you're gonna put a zip code on it and then non-domestic yeah, really yeah. yeah that's what we really need to check on to see if there's a way that we can resolve the zip code because because we're in Wisconsin you know and it's shipping over to Kentucky right right yeah, but you, you see, the post office uh, uses routes. They, they have the routes. They've always had them. And it was the government that started doing the zip codes to suck everybody up into being United States citizens. And if you claim to be a United States citizen, you are bound by whatever their codes and statutes and regulations and all that is. It's very uh, deep. Okay, y'all. I got all excited. <laughs> this envelope was sent to me from Publishers Clearing House. Okay? First class mail. You're a winner. Please check. Uh, I mean, you're a winner. Prize check enclosed. Yes, I did get a check, people. I did. And uh, I'm not going to show the amount. But this is a check from Publishers Clearing House. Okay. All right. Just thought I'd share it with you.